Do you realize that you're probably recreating certain parts of your story that are distracting to your audience and neither you nor they know why? Here's a quick example. I see this one frequently. I was on the phone the other day talking to my mom. Really? Do you really hold your phone like this? Let's forget the pre-cell phone days. I don't know anybody that held a phone like this. But if you're holding a cell phone like that, guess what? You're not holding on to it very long. If you want to realistically portray a phone call, here's what you do in rehearsal. Put your phone in your hand like this, start talking, take the phone out, keep your hand here. This looks realistic. Another distracting mannerism is driving. I see this one a lot too. People say, I was driving along. Really? You must have high insurance bills because you are hitting cars in the lanes next to you. You may be hitting the sidewalls in those narrow interstate lanes. Recreate realistically means you hold the steering wheel with your hands like this, not like this, to portray driving. That's how you look. In my last tip, I talked about nitpicky ideas, and this can seem nitpicky, but here's the problem. The audience at some level thinks that, that person's just acting because that's not realistic. If you want people to feel like they're in the scene, these little details make a big deal. Hold the steering wheel like this. If you turn it, turn it like you would. That's how you would turn a steering wheel. If you hold the phone like this, hold it like this so that people aren't being distracted by it. They don't realize it, but it does subconsciously affect them. So they think something's right, not right here. I don't know what it is, but it takes them out of the flow and the emotion of the story. In the next tip, you'll hear an idea that can help you uncover some story material.